Kaivani had done this interesting study that looks at how much does spasticity impair standing balance when a person with a stroke is simply standing. So they get 27 people who had a stroke, they have spasticity that affects their balance, and they're put into two different groups, and they look to see how much it affects their balance. The result is kind of common sense. Those who have really bad spasticity have really bad balance, and it gets worse after their vision is also obfuscated, so they can't see properly. So now they're working through tight muscles where the proprioceptors may not even work that well, and they lose their third axis of balance, which is vision, and obviously they get worse. What's the value in all this? When a person's having spasticity, we can understand how much it's going to impair their balance and safety. When you look at a country like India, where bathrooms can be a wet process, or roads may not be that smooth and safe to traverse, or uniform in their textures. All of these things can affect the way a person's spasticity walks. We keep promoting people to go outside and do stuff and be active, but if they have this and we don't address it, it becomes a problem for them in the long run.